Hi guys, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to deal with time wasters at your Comic-Con table. Now, if you've never done a Comic-Con before, you don't know who these people are, I guarantee you are gonna meet plenty of these people when you do your first Comic-Con. Doing an MCM in a couple of weeks time, so I thought it would be a good time to do this video. Now, these are the people that come to your table. They stay there for extended periods of time, look through your comics, they ask you loads and loads of questions, and then they leave without buying anything. And when you're selling your comics, it can be infuriating, and I'm gonna show you how to deal with them. But to do that, I need to tell you a story, so bear with me now, okay? So, about five or six years ago, I was doing my first or second MCM, and this chap made his way towards me. The show had been open for about half an hour, 30 minutes, so people were starting to come in. It wasn't, you know, full on, full, you know, rammed at that time. And this really nice young chap came up, started asking me questions, flicking through the comics, you know, how do you come up with your ideas? You know, how do you write a script? You know, how do you find your collaborators? Like, kind of like the reasons why I started this channel in the first place. But, you know, you see me at Comic Con, happy to have a chat, so, you know, by all means, can you know, come and have a chat? Um, but, you know, this guy's flicking through the comics, and after about 10, 15 minutes, in my head, I'm screaming, I'm thinking, dude, you need to buy something because like you are taking up so much of my time now and the show is now in full swing. People are going past my table. People are peering over his shoulder trying to look at what comics I've got on my table, but he's standing dead center, taking up all the space and wanting to talk. And after about 25 minutes of me being really super polite and you know, answering all his questions and helping him out as much as I could, he went, thanks a lot, bye, and then walked off. And in my head, I was screaming. I was like, Argh! all those people that went past that could have been actual sales that I've missed because this one guy took up so much of my time and I was furious. And literally two days later, the last day of the con, I see this guy coming towards me again. And he's not alone this time. This time he's got a friend with him. And I'm thinking, oh my God, he is going to waste my time yet again. I've had a really good con and I need to sell. It's the last day. I've got a couple of hours left and I can't deal with this again. I'm going to have to be polite, but forceful in saying, dude, you need to stand to the side. I've got customers to serve. But as this chap came to my table, he turned to his friend and he went, this is the guy I spoke to on Friday, and this is the guy that I thought you'd like to meet because I think you would really like his comics. And his friend, the first words that came out of his mouth were, I'd like to buy every single comic on your table. He bought 10 comics from my table. And why did he do that? Because I was polite to his friend two days before. I gave him time, I gave him good customer service, I was friendly, even though in my head I was screaming, he left my table thinking, do you know what? That guy is a nice guy. His comics are good and I know people that would like them. So he made a conscious effort to go and get his friend and bring him back to my table to buy my comics, okay? So the point of this video and the point of this story is you never know who's gonna be on the other side of that table that you're talking to. They deserve your care, they deserve your consideration, and they deserve some bloody good customer service because they could be anyone. They could be an editor, they could just be you know, a customer that you know wants to buy all your comics on the last day because I have customers, you know, a three day show like an MCM that will look around the Comic Con for two days and then on the last day come and pick all their comics up, okay? And if you're not polite to these people, they are not gonna come back, okay? Because your reputation does precede you. People remember bad customer service more than good customer service. So if you're not polite and not friendly to people, or you're sitting at your table on your phone as people try and approach you and talk to you, that's gonna follow you into the future, okay? So everyone that comes to your table, you need to be polite, you need to be courteous, and you need to give them your 100% focus. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Matt, that doesn't really help me if I've got a time waste at my table and they're just taking up so much of my time and I've got other customers that I need to sell to. Well, if that situation does come, and it will happen, all you need to do is to the person that is, you know, politely taking up your time because they don't realize they're doing it because they're there at the Comic-Con to make a connection with people, just politely say, happy to talk, but would you mind moving to the side so I can serve these customers as well? And nine times out of 10, that person will really resonate with them like, oh, I've taken up a lot of this person's time. They've actually got people to sell and normally they come back later for a chat anyway or they'll happily move to the side and keep talking and they will allow you to sell to customers that are actually looking to buy your comics, okay? So you need to be polite, you need to be courteous and you need to give great customer service because your reputation precedes you. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks at MCM and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye.